Hello everyone, this is Potato Pinhead here. I hope you are keeping very well. Please check out the video on the top right. This will explain how the box works in full depth. Very important that you learn this information before continuing this guide because it will really massively help you, I promise. If you don't want to hear all about the perks that I suggest and the add-ons and my opinions on them, feel free to skip to the awesome gameplay where you can still learn a lot of Pinhead. Right, if you do want to hear the perks, let's get straight into it and talk about this build that I'm bringing. The first perk I am bringing is Call of Brine. Every time you kick a generator, it will regress at ruin speed, meaning you have a free ruin permanently as long as you kick a generator. And for the next 60 seconds, every time a survivor does a basic skill check, you will get information letting you know that somebody is working on that gen, which is a really great source of information and a great source of slowdown. The next perk I'll be bringing is Pop Goes the Weasel. Every time you hook a survivor for the next 45 seconds, the next gen that you kick will lose 25% of its progress. Really, really nice, awesome slowdown and goes well with Call of Brain. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. I'm bringing Scourge Hook, Floods of Rage. Every time you hook a survivor on a Scourge Hook, when a survivor is saved, you will get aura information. This is so important on Pinhead because you, if you pay attention to where the survivors are, if you understand the box mechanics from the video that you should have watched, you will know which direction they are going in and if they're going towards the box. And then you can go over there and defend it. This gives you great information for where the survivors are and also helps you defend the box a lot easier. The next perk I'll be bringing is Scourge Hook Pain of Resonance. When you hook a survivor on a Scourge Hook, the gem with the most progress will blow up. If the survivors are working on it, they will also scream, which is really good for you as another source of information and a great source of slowdown. As I said, Pinhead is all about constantly keeping the hunt on and finding that box. The reason I'm not bringing barbecue and chili over the Scourge Hook is because sometimes when you use barbecue and chili, you might not see the survivor going towards the box. But when you're in mid chase and the survivors think that you're occupied elsewhere, when another survivor is saved from the Scourge Hook, you might see someone going towards that box because they think you're busy elsewhere. And I do get great use out of this in most of my gameplay. Right, let's go over his add-ons. A lot of his add-ons just have weaker equivalents, but some of them have some really weird powers that I'd like to explain to you guys, just in case you don't understand. So the first iridescent add-on is the Engineer's Fang. The first chain hit that you use will actually injure survivors, but when you use your chain again on an injured survivor, you will only get one additional chain, meaning your anti-loop will be gone a little bit, but you can get that first hit a lot easier because actually landing a chain hit is actually quite easy to do. So that first hit can be really nice, but just bear in mind, you will have a weaker anti-loop when you do want to catch that survivor that is injured. I would personally give this one a miss. I feel like having the full chain capabilities is going to do you better in certain situations rather than getting that first hit, but this is still a pretty decent iridescent add-on. Now, the Iridescent Alignment configuration is actually really good because survivors can't actually see the box unless they're within 24 meters of it, which means they're less likely going to be able to find it. And if you are going for the hunt all the time with these perks, you know, you'll be able to see them a lot easier and catch them more off guard and you'll find the box more often than they do as long as you follow the mechanics. Really decent at hiding that box and allowing you to get it. Pretty good and pretty nasty if you know what you're doing with the box. Now this is where I would debate not bringing this. The Chatter's Tooth shows you where the box is, but when you pick it up, it deactivates the chain hunts, which is not good. You constantly want the chain hunt on. When Pinhead has the chain hunt on, he is a very annoying and deadly killer and could constantly you know, harass survivor on generators. He can catch you in mid chase without having to use his power because the chain might just randomly hit you. It's really, really nice. And in exchange for just 25 seconds of being stealthy, it's not really worth it, to be honest. The only good thing about this is, is that you're constantly going to find the box. You're going to constantly find where the survivors are located. So in terms of a source of information, if you're struggling to find survivors, then yes, bring this. But A, you've got to go out of your way to go and get the box. And B, you know, you don't have your chain hunt, which means you're a lot weaker in anti-loop. So try and avoid this. If you use the mechanics correctly from the video I mentioned, you'll always find the box anyway. The greasy black lens, every time a survivor is hit by a chain, it will show you their aura. This is actually only really good for the hunt because of course when you're in chase and you use your own chains, 
you know, you know where the survivor is, but when the hunt is on, it might just randomly hit a survivor, and if you're paying attention, you'll find out where they're going. So this is also a good way of, you know, finding survivors and keeping on top of their locations, a great source of information when the hunt is on. Now, one of his strongest add-ons, in my opinion, is the Impaling Wire. Every time a survivor breaks a chain from the environment, that can be literally anything sometimes, more chains will spawn and just allow you to catch up with them. On an indoor map, this is insanely deadly and you have a very strong anti-loot with this add-on alone. Very, very nice. I could not recommend this enough. Original Pain just makes it so a survivor's escape from a chain when they're injured means they got to wound. Very annoying, very, very nice. You know, you can hit a survivor if they run off somewhere that's quite strong. You can just quickly chain them, force them to mend, and walk off and deal with someone else. Really good at annoying survivors, and when the hunt is on, it's very, very nice as well. Frank's Heart just makes it so that your maximum casting range by gateway is an additional 8 meters. Try and give this one a skip. You don't really want to be using your power from too crazy far because survivors break off so easily. Try and avoid it, you're not going to get much use out of it. And this also has a weaker equivalent as well, which is the television. It's just an additional 4 meters. Range isn't really something you really need with Pinhead at all. His range is plenty. Don't add range add-ons. Honestly, he has much better add-ons. Larry's Blur just increases the Possessed Chain maximum travel distance by 4 meters. Again, try to avoid this. Not that good. When you do shoot your chain out of the portal, it's very, very hard to control. And the longer you have it, A, it means if you miss, that means you're going to be spending longer in that animation. And B, it's just you're more likely going to miss anyway. And even if you do hit them from afar, they're going to break free and get away from you anyway. So try and avoid this. It also has a weaker equivalent as well, which is the spoiled meal. It's just an additional two meters. Avoid this add-on. Just trust me. Now, Larry's Remains is actually pretty good. It makes it so that survivors take two seconds longer to solve the box. Doesn't seem like much, but that does really help you. You're supposed to always go after Survivor if they're nearby trying to solve the box. Remember, they're oblivious as well, so they might not know where you are, and that additional two seconds can help you get into chase and stop them. If you are chasing a Survivor that's injured and someone healthy picks up the box really close to you, drop chase and commit to the person with the box. Keeping the hunt on is way more important than dealing with an injured Survivor. Trust me, this will help you a lot. Larry's Remains also has a weaker equivalent, which is the uh, liquefied gore, which is just an additional second. You don't need to bring both. Try and bring one or the other. You really want to bring both because you're struggling to protect that box and go ahead, but there, he has better add-on combinations, definitely. Slice of Frank just makes it so that anyone carrying the box is exhausted. So if you are struggling to catch people that do have the box, then maybe bring this to help you deal with their exhaustion perks. Again, another one I'd probably avoid because it's only one person at a time that would be affected by this. He has better add-ons for sure, but yes, if you really do struggle catching a person with a box, bring this, they'll be exhausted when they use it. The Torture Pillar is just really nice because every time the chain hunt starts, it means it's six seconds before it does start. So, you know, constant harassment by the chains, especially if you are good at finding the box, you know, it's just basically going to keep activating instantly once you've solved it. So survivors will constantly be annoyed by chains. Trust me, when the chain hunt is on, survivors going to drop what they're doing and try and solve the box. And if you play your cards right, you're always going to find it and you're always going to down survivors while the hunt is on. The Skewered Rat is also pretty good. It makes it so that when you actually chain a survivor, the time after possessing them is reduced by 9%, meaning you can quickly get back into chase, which is pretty good. Nice add-on for sure. The Wiggled Maggots is one I'd also avoid as well. The turn rate on his ability is actually pretty good base kit. Adding an additional 15% might make it harder for you because it's so sensitive when you turn. So making it more sensitive is going to probably be bad for you. And really, you shouldn't be doing any like insanely cracked 180 chain hunt things. No, when you use your power, just aim it at the survivor where they're running to and then just ideally hold down and hit them. You see me do this a lot. I don't do crazy curves or anything like that. Try and avoid this. It's not really going to help you. Uh, the vent now is just more blood points and makes it so that you lose additional chain. If you want to challenge yourself, then go ahead and bring this. If you're going for a serious game, do not bring this. But encounter is just a weak equivalent of the tortured pillar. It's just a three seconds instead of six seconds. A lever strip is just a weak equivalent of the skewered rat, which I've already mentioned. And the lively quick is just a weaker equivalent of the wrinkling maggots. Pinhead can actually be a very strong killer when used correctly. I'd honestly argue that when the chain hunt is on, he's either an A tier or S tier killer. He's just that powerful when the chain hunt is on. When it's off, he's like a B tier killer at best. His anti-loop is 
pretty debatable, but it's all about that hunt. If you are miles away from a box as well, do not be afraid to teleport to it. If you aren't in chase, at least that will get you in chase and you can get survivor on the hook and then you can use your perks to, you know, hopefully find the next box. Try your very best to keep the hunt on because it will make you very, very powerful indeed. I hope these tips have somewhat helped you and hopefully the add-ons will help you as well with which ones I prefer to use. And if you guys did enjoy this video in any way, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because I do tons of content like this. I've got a whole playlist of best builds for basically every single killer so far. The last two are the Artist and the Omrio, which I'm currently working on. And if you want to see that live, you've got to go to the Twitch link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Tomorrow, we'll do Oni tomorrow. We'll re record Oni best build. And we'll re so basically, all the thumbnails I didn't have Chris draw, I'm going to re record the videos so we have uh, more content. I think that makes sense, right? Uh, Oni over here. Right, they spawned on the left here and someone in the center. The box is probably over there if no one's there. Right. Oh, can I stop it? No, but that was Yui on it. I probably should have teleported if I paid attention. Good. Right, Jen did proc, but let's... um. Get this going. Scout trick right here. Brilliant. We get information from this as well. Shame we couldn't stop the hunt. But she is on that gen. Maybe we can go over there and pop it. I don't know if it's actually worth sticking around here. Immediately saved. Where is everyone? Over there. Oh, he's right here. Let's put him off this. Just delete that gen. They blew that up, that's 10% gone. Oh. Okay, waiting for the dead hard is a scout joke right here. Brilliant. Now that we're here, we might be able to push the person off to the left. I'm hoping we can see people go back for the box. That'd be really useful. Right, let's go up here and pop this. We can use Call of Brian to delete it as well. Both over there. That's why it's just hiding in the corner here. is on so maybe we can make some play here nice there's two scout trucks here brilliant we'll get great information out of this as well Just quickly hook. She's serious.
We're getting great use out of this information here, keeping him over here. What the heck is Dwight? I couldn't find Dwight for the life of me. Oh, speak of the devil, we shot here. Tried, I didn't mean to run into the wall there like that. I'll just keep putting him on sketch hooks while I'm here. Why not? It's a shame I couldn't protect the box, but yeah. Don't get dudes, put some pressure on them. Right, now we can go over there and pop that gen. Pengmin is over here to the right. Is it worth going after her quickly? Probably. She's in her position. I'm gonna leave that. Wait, what? Where did she go? Yeah, it's dead hard. Alright, let's go over here and quickly pop this, and then um, go deal with them. Eh, is this worth even popping? You know what, whatever. They call it brown on it as well. Alright, where is everyone on that gen over there? Great use. Now you must come with me. The Skachuk to the left here. If that gen has got any progress, we can go over there and quickly scout hook it, and then go over there and kick it for an additional 25%. Boom. Blew up, she let go. Double sprint bursts. Bit of shame I missed. She's now got a mend, which is nice, so I can just ignore her. Let's just quickly pop this. Oh! What a waste. Ah! Never mind. Good, put him back on the scout joke. We're getting such great information and such value out of the regression here. It's absolutely insane. I actually really rate the double scatcher combination. We don't need that many information perks anymore. You summoned me. I came. He's on the TNR. We'll easily win this. If she sticks there. We're good. What a brain going off. Alright, build a scatch hook. Doesn't matter. I know she's on that generator. This gen has the most progress, and I'm not really worried about the other gen. Okay, she just ran up. You haven't spent your potato points, why would I add you? And plus it's not adding survivor day.
Even though I'm hitting her with every single chain, it's still hard to catch her. Oh, she's literally right here. The good old voice lines. Really, really nice. Yeah, this build is proving really strong on him. What a waste of good suffering. Nice though, really, really nice. GG, well played, that was a really fun game. They played well. We had a good pressure at the start there, and I, we, I think it was hard for them to bounce back from that. But GG. Mama, you're just too cracked at the game. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't claim that. I'm getting there. Didn't see a boonlet. I've seen a lot of people use this new perk as well. Uh, you can see there, they can see your aura whenever they're injured. Oh, pretty cool. Then you heal them 10% faster. I like that perk, it's kind of nice. Angela, and go, puts it right in my face, I've just shat myself. <laughs> She was doing like a holding tarantula exhibit thing. You could hold the tarantula. You're not really supposed to handle them, to be honest. But yeah, that was fucking lovely. I actually cannot hear them. It probably was a tarantula, yeah. But why would it have a web? Is there actually a purple species? I'm not going crazy. We tried googling it, but I couldn't find any information. At least we have Cooler Brian for a bit of info if they do come back. That is pretty spicy. Interesting. That was an accident on his part. Right, they're back on that gen. Oh, I thought he'd drop on me. Then when I get him. Let's scout joke here. Right, they are on that gen over there. Okay, scout joke, scout joke, scout joke. Over here, maybe we can slow it down a little bit. Animal spiders, Ooh, this uh, yeah. sounds lovely. Uh, yeah. oh, quick, 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 quick! Uh, yeah. I think they should genuinely consider either making the speed just quicker of like carrying survivors, especially without scout jerks being in the game. It's just like sometimes with agitation, it's really hard to get to a scout jerk. I don't know if so over there. Break a gen while blind instead. There you go. That will regress light ruin and hopefully that will be deleted. If you, let it, if you leave it going with the new um, perk, it's going to hurt you. I'm 
was hoping to swing before she got off. Doesn't matter. Right, well, at least we managed to stop a gen. Right, let's go put a scout choke behind me. Let's bring her away from the gen she desperately wants to get to. Pop that gen. The man is just walking so slowly behind that tree. See the difference between this team and the last team? This man, in the last team, they'd be nowhere near the hook. Nowhere near. Unless there was a gen there. Okay, Spud. I know someone's on that gen over there. Hunt is on two, so this is great. Eight is on the box. She can still drop, even though she's changed, just bear that in mind. Alright, she's over here with my box, so let's go deal with her. Why is she letting me know that she's there? Hey, Mentor, hope you're doing good, buddy. Thank you for following. Ah, she's getting interrupted by the chain hunt. Brilliant. It's definitely worth keeping Hunt on for downing a survivor. 100%. Hunt is the most important thing. I gotta go pick her up, but whatever. That gen has already regressed to zero. Bennett's animations are just so fucking cool. I want the box more than anything else right now. Another thing about the previous team is there is no way they would run me to another survivor. Definitely not. They did, I don't think they did that once. Not even accidentally. Great. Let's keep the hunt on. The hunt is probably by Shack. That's probably where it's gone. So, around this side of the map, because everyone is over here. Joe is here. Oh, she used Deliverance, okay. Hey Tiggy, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm a bit guy that was not a hit. Alright, Kate. Yeah, it's over here, it's over here, it's over here. She's come to go get it. You're definitely going for the box. Meaning it's over here. You're both here. Yeah, it's here. As long as I defend the box, it's whatever. Yeah, she's going for it. Where the... Yo, you want to give me that back. This is why I don't think you really need Franklin's. I think it's overkill. I know you get the hunt going again, you can rinse up survivors, but sometimes chasing the person in the box is just worth it. My friend, you ended up sandbagging the poor girl. That was a dead hard for sure. Hello. Doesn't matter, the hunt is still on. Uh. Okay. It's not worth dying for the box. You're not gonna get it done. I want the hunt on. Right, there, 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 in that corner by that gem. Over there. If I had to guess. I want to keep the hunt on, it just applies more pressure to them, and I can pop this gem, which is Esther. 
Never mind. Don't need to pop it. Yeah, they're heading over there. It's over there. They want to get rid of the box. It, they desperately want to get rid of it. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Mikhail is going for it. Yep. Yeah. Bang on the money. Thank you. Right, all over there. It's either here or on my right. Pay attention to where the survivors are every time you do the box, and then you can figure out which way to go again. You keep the hunt on basically forever. Shh, ash. It's either here or over there. Let's just have a quick look over here. We might see it again. Yep, it's over here. He's coming here. Why would he come here? It's here. It's here. It has to be. Yep, it's here. I was right. There we go. Now we can do the box again. Right, where are they? There, there, there. It's more likely around here, or it can spawn there, or even here. It's probably around there. So they're probably heading that way to the left to go get it. They left. Right, let's actually head back towards the box. Right, someone just got hit by a chain hunt here. She's not that interested in trying to get over to the box, which is odd. So it could be in that corner. I was right. It is over there. It's fine. I'd rather commit now. She'll probably just slow all that anyway. But let's just get her. She didn't. She doubled back. That was very patient of you, Joe. Unfortunate. Well, we kept the hot enough for a very, very long time. I'll just break. I'm not going to wait for my power. It runs to the right of me as well. Unfortunately, once the box is lost, it's kind of a pain trying to figure out how to find it again. Okay, I don't care who I go after, gamer. Oh, actually. Jill just vaulted. I'll go after Kate. I kind of want to get scared choke going again. Go for the window. Oh no, I'm not. More important. Right, so the box is over here. Seriously? What are you panic about? Yeah, I was right, it is over there. It's fine. Let's just quickly hit Jill. Let's catch it. Is there one to the right? Yep, yep. And because she has a med kit, she probably heal really fast. Oh, she had unbreakable. What are you doing? Oh, Soul God as well. Spicy. Okay. Kobe's off. Seriously? That was a Kobe. Unless Ash saved her. No, it was Ash. Never mind. I fucking jump to conclusions all the time. 
I get it. Can't dead hard with a chain on, so swing before the chain comes off. Sky choke here. Okay, do you have a death wish? Alright, let's Let's quickly commit to this. I've got a feeling no she didn't go be no no. I saw with the scout joke that she was saved. Decisive Unbreakable Soul Guard. That's a build. I don't know what exhaustion perk she has, if she has one. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, Tofu Chan, I will answer your question in shortly. They'd be very, very good to make a comeback from this because I have a lot of pressure right now. She, I don't know if she has that all. She didn't use it earlier. Um, I kind of respect the Soul Guard plays. I think she's going to run away. Goodness, I need to break. This is probably one of the safe before I was. I might actually teleport to her because she's injured in our position. Those pallets there are broken. This man is just holding W. You summoned me. I came. Do you guys think you should have to drop pallets while chained? I'm chaining her, right? And I cannot even get her. That hard for sure. She's on that gen, I don't really care. I've got Call of Brain and Pop, it's not nowhere near done. True. Oh shit, there's no hook here. That's actually an issue. Kids, because she they know she's dead on hook. I appreciate that, but game's GG. They played well, to be fair. They were playing, you know, they're trying to take hits for each other, take aggro. Sometimes that's the correct, but they kept bringing each other to each other's gens. That's where they lacked a bit of coordination. This feels more like a solo queue team. He's down in the hole. I kind of wish Scout Chooks didn't delete permanently. Maybe they will got they disappear for like two minutes when the last virus killed, and they come back. Because it's like now I can't use this to defend this area. I I know some people could argue that you killed a survivor at least, but maybe I don't know. Because sometimes it's like oh now I get no Scout Chook value just because I killed someone there. But then people just say, be smart with your last hook. I don't know. And I also hey. think, I did say I'd like one in basement. Oh, yeah. But then people would abuse the basement a bit too hard for mm -hmm. one for one -ing. Yeah, true. I agree. You can't pony get rid of boons, so why should you be, why should you pony get rid of scout hooks? Scout hooks are really good. Really, really good. <laughs> you guys have fair points about boons, yes. I agree, I think boons are ridiculous. I've always thought boons are ridiculous. The game goes from like, 
Okay, imagine survivors bring no boons, right? And they're all average survivors. The game is pretty okay. It's not going to be too difficult, right? Now give those average survivors boon tomes. Now the game just got hard. Give them second chance perks. Now the game just got extremely hard. That, you know. And imagine bringing in all of those things, but with really good survivors that don't even need them. That's where you find your spicy game. She also had deliverance. Yes, she did. I totally forgot. GG, well played. Good game, though. They played well. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's games, though. More of a serious uh, play style. This build is actually really good on him. I found great use out of that.